kama yeye asiwe kaka sababu tuleko wansi let me request you to take your seat uh, tuagala kweba zanyo abateste sibolu nakuluno we want thanks so much the organizers of the day uh, abogezi okuva oluna kujerwa tandikide the speakers from when the day began kama abatwele nyinyini dalomkisa May the Lord bless you indeed. To be baza nyo mwena olunaku lokutano olunaku lwa kukola na yoku anti offices za wakadde no gamba kangene mbere ko chenjiga mbere ko chempulira mukama kwenyo mukisa. We thank you so much because we know that a Friday is a day when we are supposed to be working but for you to spare time and say let me go and listen and learn something. Mukama yebaza we. Praise the Lord. Ebimu kubigenderwa byo lukungana luno. One of the objectives of this conference kwe kulabanga obulambwa fe obwomo yono obwomo bili butoka kudala ngabu balancing is to see that our spiritual and physical lives come to a level when they can balance walonge kanisa wetu tuse okulabanti wekuba kuyigiriza abantu kusaba tubayigiriza we have reached at a level as a church to see that we teach people if it means teaching them about prayer we do so we kuba kuyigiriza abantu kwagala bible no kujisoma tuchikoze and if it is to teach people to love the bible and read it we have also done it nye tera ne twesanga nga side ene ndala eyengeri je tutambuza mu bulamu nga tuchayamba do mubiri nge badde echali echabula mu echirungo but we find out that this other side of life in the way we are supposed to take on our lives still needs certain ingredients so msumba kasozi tukwebaza nyo we therefore thank you so much pastor Kasozi, for sitting down and think together with the team you work with okusobola kulaba anti omujiji omuto to see that this young generation nga tutuka kudala tubere na abantu abata kyalinda bamusiga nsimbi abava mu mawanga nga bajja wano na yetu bere ne bamusiga nsimbi abakoleddwa mu gwanga lyabwe to see that we have CEOs who are not only coming from outside but CEOs who have been made in their nation okusinzira ku bigambo bibagabanye na fe according to the words they have shared with us tukizulira dalala we surely discover it into osobolo kibera that you can be it osobolo kifuka you can become it bobo osobolo kirowoza if you can think about it osobolo kikola then you can do it bobo osobolo kirota if you can dream about it osobolo kikwata then you can get touch on it oyatusomeseza obwongo yatulazenga byonna bitandikireyo mu imagination si the one who taught us about the mind showed us that all those things begin from imagination so ngi kanisa therefore as a church tuweredwa mandate we have been given a mandate eyo kulabanga tu influencing a communities katonda ya tutadde to see that we influence the communities in which god has placed us era ne mu kungeri je tugenda ku influencing am and one of the ways that we are going to influence we kubera ne dobozi mu side ye byensimbi is to have a voice in the side of finances we kubera ne dobozi ku side ye byemfuna is to have a voice in financial matters and i believe that our lives are not going to remain the same tulina obusobozo chusa amagenda gaffe we have the ability to change our destinies nine cha wandikibwa ekinuma bulirwe nchisoma i have a scripture that hurts me every time i read it nga bible yegama nti obusika oba ebyobugagga bisikibwa oba bifunibwa okuva mu bazadde As the Bible says that inheritance is got from parents. Wealth is got from parents. Eyobugaga bifunibwa okuva mu bazadde. Buna yo muchalo omulungi afunibwa okuva eri katonda. But that a good wife comes from God. Ngachiru mu kubera anti olina abazadde. So it hurts that you have parents. Na yinga tebalina bugaga bo bafunyeko. But yet you've not got any wealth from them. So tusobola kolo kusalawo we can therefore make a decision ne tubera no bulamu obwa ukanako obwa bazadde baffe and we have a life that a little bit 
is different from our parents. Probably they tried. And there are certain forces that limited them. And they never got moments like these where we are told how to think. They never went to conferences. And it's very easy for such a one to say that because I didn't go to school, he can also tell you that though you don't study. It becomes easy for them to say that because they used to study while barefooted, you can also not put on shoes. But I tell you the truth, in such arrangements, we are going to have another kind of life. We are going to have a victorious life. And as a church, we are telling you, money is a tool that we need, that you need. Don't look at it as Satan. If you were not tired, I would have told you about three scriptures in the Bible that always confuse people concerning financial matters. The first, the first one is the one that is in 1 Timothy 6.10. And the element, But in that scripture, the writer Paul brings out an aspect that would help to show us what would cause money to be bad. That if you get money and put it in the position of God, that is what defiles it. But if we mount to a level, when we can put money in its position, and God remains in his position, number one, the Bible does not send us to love money. It, loves, it sends us to love God with all our strength, with all our ability. But money is a tool that you as a born again, you do need. And one of the prayers that we make is that may the Lord make life easy for you. And if God is to answer that prayer, we are indirectly praying for you that may God give you money. That he may give you the money that is in the economy in which we are working. That he may give you money that has more value than the one in the economy in which we work. That we may mount to a level. That when there is any need in the house of God. That the entire mission we may organize. You and I just become tools. And God will do it. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that Nehemiah and his colleagues had heard the voice of God to go and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. But meeting what they encountered, Bible says that Nehemiah and his colleagues the Bible says that time came and the workers he was using, in one hand they had a sword and in the other hand they had a torch. Born again, do not be deceived, you need money. Let's work and pray. Our lives will be different. Praise the Lord. No Rachel. Therefore, wherever God is going to put you, what you are doing is not physical. The things that we think that are physical, instead they are the ones that bring in the spiritual. There is even no way you can separate them. 
The Bible says that Jacob used the the the, the, the muscle. The muscle. O kufuna echo moyo esa wachi yalina. To get the spiritual that Esau had. Galina mugoyo. He only had the muscle. Olina muo mugoyo. He gave him the muscle. Olina muwe chitalabika. And then the other one gave him the invisible. And when Isaac was going to pray for a blessing, he told him, Go and get for me what to eat. That he may give him a blessing. And Brethren, the physical and the spiritual always work together as long as we are still here in the land of the living. If you are still putting on the flesh, as God still gives you life, you need money. Work for the money that the money may be a tool. One thing you have to guard yourself against let money not send you. Let money not give you what to do. But give money what to do. Let money work for you. Let money be your servant. That, that you can send to wherever you want him to go. So it's the reason as to why I don't agree with someone who says, after I have gotten money, then I will get a plan. First have a well preparation. And then when money comes, you will direct it to do what you want it to do. Praise the Lord. You can become it. God believes in it. And God can give out a blessing on that. So, we encourage you as the church. Go and work with your strength. Somebody Omulimugona, Omulimugona, Guliko Chegugasa, mm -hmm. Nayo Kubuya, Buya, Quemimwa, Quav Waza, Bav Waza, Mukama Evers Way, Amina, Omulimugona Guliko, Bible in Dalazigamba, Omulimugona Gulikama, Goba, Gegulator. Other versions say that every work has profit that it may be. But mere bubbling instead makes you poor. Let's leave this conference after making a decision. We are going to reduce on our words and increase on our work. Amidst us working, the profits will come through. We will be so spiritual when we can command things and they happen. When we can command things and they happen, when the chairman gets to understand that it's you who gave him the money that worked upon the work in the village, there there is no way he can quench off the fire in your house saying that you are shouting for him. Praise the Lord. So, by younger CEO, therefore the young CEOs, to, to be diligent, let's be diligent. To na, 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 let's work with our hands. And God will bless us. Diligence. So, Pastor, I want to stop here and welcome you.
Praise the Lord. Let me request us to stand on our feet. We want to prepare ourselves for tomorrow. The session has different speakers. And it also has a practical moment. And the practical moment is that we And in that particular practical moment is hoping us to see that our minds can be uncovered. Because there are people who really think that candles are cut from a certain tree. There are people who really think that someone cannot make for himself a piece of soap. But let's come tomorrow. And they, and they will mix all those things from here without us going to any factory. What has prospered nations like China? home industries those countries have what is called born industries home uh, industries is our worker home industries sorry bino fetu abiranga kusomero nga batulukisa twachita banga oba omu economics nga batulukisa enje yo when we still at home ebirago hand worker eh ha ebintu ebyo baba chai na bana babwe during that time bakolo bomotoka the Chinese are trained how to make cars, how to make dolls, and they bring them this side and our children play Baby with them. Waka. They do them from home. Even our minds are able to do something from our homes that can sustain the rent that you pay for that house. We have children here in the project we got when they were three, nine years, and today they can make a shoe and you can put it on and yet it is made by him. They can make books. There is a time we brought someone who trained us how to make a bag and some people have made money in making those bags. Put your hands on that head. Say, oh Jesus. Jesus. Nyamba. 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 Nguwa yo jori Gubi kule ko Buli kabubi kona Buli bunafu wona Buli bugaya afu wona Buli kutia kona Mbiye ya mbula A yesu Ngezi waza Ngezi waza Ngezi waza Nsaba ama gezi Agana nyamba Okufa kudala liendiko Ninye mubula mubula la Kubanga jebuli Kubanga wabunte kira tekira Nyamba Pulida nkoye Okweto lola Bienko langa tebi itamu Kumurundi kunoku oka Ngabwe naze Nempulira ngabogera Nyamba Yesu nyamba Nkoyo wafu Nkoye chintu echo Eranche ya ulako Weguba muzimu Ngubogolera Famu kuboli yangi Famu magenda gangi Famu mutue guangi Fulumwe kuboli yangi Mulinyiri ya Yesu Ayi mukama Ne wayo joli Nja kuba mwenyikifu Nja kuba mwesikwa Nja kola chona Choya gala nkole Mbere wa mkasu Mulinyeri ya Yesu Amen